Okay, Gary, so how many tournaments would you say that you guys run? Oh my gosh, uh, we probably run about 60 to 75 tournaments right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. A lot so, of the OAC, a lot of them are, are area tournaments. Some are out of state, some are in state. Sometimes we're doing you know, four, four tournaments a weekend. Some, a lot of them we're doing remotely. Uh, through track wrestling now, uh, we've run some real big tournaments, run a lot of the major tournaments. We've run Eastern Nationals uh, for Gene Mills, we've uh, run the uh, Brexville Holiday Tournament, we run the MIT Tournament, uh, we run huge tournaments. Every weekend we're also running um, uh, JV and uh, freshman tournaments for area schools just to keep kids extra matches and we run the all throughout the state of Ohio. So the Braxville and the MIT, usually there's either overlap or they run right. almost, this year it was four days, I think. Four days straight. Yeah, right? Or sometimes there's a day of overlap, right? Right, right. And then we'll send two teams out. Uh, their days were, were six tournaments deep over the holidays, over six days straight, you know, over the holidays. So it's uh, some of our JV tournaments up to 40 to 45 teams, you know, on, on seven to eight mats, you know, so it's... It's big. We're, we're we're trying to we're trying to really promote wrestling all throughout the state and build it. Um, you know, and the only way to get kids matches when I was a head wrestling coach, the only way to get kids extra matches and get them prepared for the next year is to uh, you know get them to, to JV matches. You know, for our younger kids, and otherwise they're only getting three or four matches a year. So we started doing tournaments. We got a lot of our JV kids in our area that are getting you know 30, 40 matches a season now. Where are you from? I'm, we're from the Akron area. Okay. I, I uh, coach wrestling, my assistant wrestling coach at Talmadge High School, and I coach football at Ken Roosevelt High School. Okay. So you're, you're, were you a Golden Flash? No, not a Golden Flash. I'm actually from right down the road here from Ohio Wesleyan University. Oh, okay. So I love coming here because I get to go right by my university. So. Okay. Delaware, right? Delaware, Ohio. Okay. Yeah. So when you look at uh, being in Northeast Ohio and how wrestling you know, is there, I think so many people are worried about the elite level. You're bringing up a, a real area where, which needs service. We need oh, yeah. JV tournaments. We need freshman tournaments. We need kids to get experience because not every kid is ready for the Walsh Ironman. Right. Not every kid's ready for the Brexville, right. right? Or the Beast of the East, or whatever name the tournament, right? right? Which you run some of them. But that experience and getting kids' experience and getting them involved, and like you're saying, promoting the sports throughout the state, how important is that to you? And how, how are you dealing with this logistical nightmare you just explained to me? Well, I, I think I have a very patient wife who understands the sport. My buddy and I, we've been, uh, he actually wrestled for me at, at Brocksville, uh, and he actually was my assistant wrestling coach for 12 years when I was a head wrestling coach. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we're a good team in, in the sense that we uh, we communicate well and help each other out. We, uh, you know, our focus has been building our state, you know, for wrestling. Um, and, and the nightmare of handling, you know, two or three or four or five tournaments a weekend including some major varsity tournaments is is well manned because you know we know we know each other well enough how we can handle things. We got good teams involved and we send them to the right places and Rob and I oversee you know everything we're doing. You know he's been with me now for Rob Murray's been with me now for twenty five years. You know, um, if uh, you know uh, you know he knows what my right hand's doing all, at all times. So I mean he's just a good right hand guy and we work well together. Okay, you guys got anything big coming up? Anything new you're trying to promote? Anything that, that, that's obviously the the biggest thing in, in, coming up right now is our girls state championship. We're, we are beyond proud to be doing this. It's going to help our, our our state. It's going to help our sport. It's so great to see you know women getting the recognition they need. Our girls getting the recognition they need at the at the youth levels, at the middle school levels, at the high school levels. It's only going to build our sport even better than it is right now. They're getting the recognition they deserve. The women at the, you know, at the international level, at the Olympics, uh, at the at the collegiate level as well. And um, we're going to be running the girls' state championship next weekend, Saturday and Sunday at, at Davidson High School, Milliard. Um, it's exciting. Um, we, we've got uh, out, outstanding registration this year. Uh, Two hundred and some girls going to be competing there this year. Um, and again, this is just the start of something huge in years to come. And we're really honored to be a part of this, you know, at the ground level and, and just taking this to the next level for them. How are the numbers looking for you as far as that tournament? You know, everything has to start somewhere, right? You got to crawl right. before you walk. Are you getting good numbers? Are you, are you where you thought you'd be? Yeah, we're, you know, we're, we're a 200 and some, 260 some, 270 some girls. That's pretty good. That's awesome. That's, that's like really good. Yeah, that's really good. And, and you know, the, the thing that we're looking at is we wanted our girls to be on, on a team, got their alpha test on a team. So club team girls uh, will not be participating. They have to be on a 
on a high school team on that, uh, you know, on, with that alpha test and everything. But, uh, you know, this is this is the start. You know, I, I'm a firm believer in it's not where you start, it's where you finish. You know, we started our tournament series up in, up in the Cleveland Akron area with, you know, two JV tournaments. Now we have 15 JV tournaments. So it's not where you start, it's where you finish. And, and uh, the sky's the limit for this right now. And like I said, it's gonna build our sport as a whole. It's gonna build Ohio as a whole. We've already got an outstanding wrestling state. You know, this is just gonna, you know, improve it even so much more. So we're excited. What's your partnership like and what's your relationship like with, with OAC? You know, we uh, we took over OAC uh, running the, the junior high states and, and the middle school state tournament and the divisional tournament, we took that over three years ago. Um, you know, we, we're, we just were proud to be a part of it. Um, our, our philosophy with our business is building wrestling one match at a time, you know, and, and our future starts with these young kids and we're so excited to be involved in that and, uh, and continue to help the sport grow. And that's what we're all about. What's the name of your company? Uh, Tournament's Done Right. Tournament's Done Right. Tournament's Done with Right. With Gary and? Gary Kanega and Rob Murrow. So if, could we find you guys on a website? How do we contact you if somebody wants you guys to manage? You can find us through the OAC. You can find us through uh, a lot of the organizations, the coaches' organizations and stuff. I can be reached at, um, at gary.kaneg at nordoniaschools.org. I'm a school teacher at Nordonia High School. Okay. Um, well known in the wrestling community for running tournaments. And, okay, you don't look old enough, but you didn't teach Jim Anderson or Joe Anderson. They're actually probably older than you. No, I'm actually older than they are. I'm not actually just turning. You look good, man. I'm turning 55. So, yeah, 55? 55 so, yeah. No way. Yeah, you look good, so, man. Yeah, good for you. So you so. might have actually been able to teach those guys. I might have, yeah. I was yeah. I there a little bit. Because you would have been that. there. Like, you're old enough to have. T- wow. Right. Gary, what water are you drinking? <laughs> what are you doing, man? I'm just living like. You don't look 55, so. brother. Yeah. Good work. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. So. Tournament's done right. Tournament's done right. Uh, Gary Kanega and Rob Murhar. Uh, Gary dot Kanega K A N A G A at NordoniaSchools.org. All right, man. Well, Gary, thanks for the time. You got anything else for me? No, I'm just like I said, some uh, water. Some part. of the water you're drinking. Do you got no, any of that? Nah, I need I some of that. that. Where do you live? I need to go bottle uh, some. Yeah, Akron, Ohio. You live in Akron? Okay. Water. Good water there. That, in Akron, that, that good Firestone water, right? Good firestone water there. Yeah. So. <laughs> awesome, yeah. Gary. Thank you for the time, man. All right, thank you.